All right, here's another example where we've got where we're dealing with an isosceles triangle and we've got to find the value of x and y. Now, if I take a look at my picture over here, I notice that this side and this side are both congruent, so those are going to be my legs. And up here where they are coming together is angle y. So y is my vertex angle. Now, of all of those pieces, I also take a look at the other angles down here, this x plus 7 and the 55. Those two guys are my vertex, or not the vertex angles, those are the base angles. And one of the things I have to remember about base angles in an isosceles triangle is that base angles are equal. So I can start right off by setting these two guys equal to each other to find out what the value of x with is. So I have x plus 7, that equals 55. Now this is pretty simple, straightforward. You're going to end up with x has a value of 55 minus 7, 48. So that's my value for x. Now to find the value of y, there's a couple different th ways that we could approach it. Now we do have to remember though that all three angles in a right or right triangle or any type of triangle, all three angles, the interior angles, will always, always, always have a sum of 180 degrees. Now I already figured out that um, x was 48, but I know that this angle right here is 55 and this one is 55. Now if I have 55 plus 55 plus, in this case, y, I don't know what y is yet, so the sum of three angles, 55 plus 55 plus whatever angle y is, that has to add up to 180. Now this is just going to be straightforward arithmetic. 55 and 55 at this point is just going to give us a sum of 110 and then plus y equals 180 and then when I subtract from both sides I'll end up with y equals just 70. So my value for y in this case is 70. And again I always want to double check my work and make sure if I have 55 degrees for my two base angles and 70 for my vertex angle if that sum is in fact 180 degrees. If it is, wonderful, I did my work correctly. If I made a mistake, that'll show up because then their sum would, the sum of the three interior angles would not be 180. So please remember, always go back and double check your work because that's where most people make their mistakes is in the arithmetic.